All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting over here on the review table, and in front of me, I got this little guy from the guys over at Rise Armament Triggers, Rise Triggers, whatever you want to call it. Received this from the boys over there at Optics Planet. Now, here's what I want to do. I'm going to take this and put it into the 12 and a half inch upper AR-15 pistol that I have, uh, because I want something a little bit more than the uh, mil spec trigger. But I don't want a competition trigger just, you know, pound and a half, two pounds. This thing weighs in at 3.5 pounds, pulls single stage, and, uh, hey, lifetime guarantee. The RA24 Hex Enhanced Rifle Trigger. Now, you can't show an install in this, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But I will tell you this, uh, the, the, the trigger that I am running currently... on my AR is set at, wow, that's not bad, four pounds, 10 ounces. Let's make sure we're pulling towards the middle part, right? I have 4.8, four pounds, 7.8 ounces. All right, so uh, very simple to install this thing. It comes with the walkout pins and that's good. Now, let me show this to you real quickly. Like, it's beautiful, anodized finished. Uh, it's not anodized. I don't know what that is, man. That's pretty nice. But what I, I like about it versus, say, some of the other triggers that are out there is that it has springs underneath it like this. So you don't have the screws that you have to tension down and to press up against the uh, trigger pin and the hammer pin. So let's do this real quickly. I'm going to go ahead and install this thing and then we'll see how it looks when we get done. Again, I'm not showing the install for the YouTube people out there. I am not promoting this. This is not a trigger that is enhanced any more than a regular mil spec trigger that comes on the uh, AR-15. So with that, let's do this, because we're gonna coincide with putting this guy right here on. This is the Armaspec. I did get this straight from Armaspec. This is their nice rubberized grip. I like this a lot. And the reason I like it a lot, and I'm showing this to you because I'm cleaning this, is I don't like this Hogue. Is that a Hogue? Yeah, I, this grip is way too skinny and it's, my fingers are getting tore up by this thing right here. So with that, uh, because I got to take a whole bunch of that stuff apart anyway, I want to go ahead and do this. That's a really nice red trigger, concave for your pleasure. Uh, it looks pretty cool. So let's get to it. Uh, also, and I hope this doesn't get kicked off of YouTube. This is a really cool deal in that when you are in, see how that screw tip is attached? Well, you put it in there just like so. You can go ahead and get it started and then you can finish it out with a regular trigger. I mean, a regular old screwdriver. So that in itself, just uh, you don't have to deal with something along and having to stick up in there. Okay. And for all you sick people out there and you know who you are. Yeah, you know. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and get it installed and we'll see how it works. Stand by. All right. Well, I'll tell you right now, man, this thing's smooth as a baby's ass. The reset on the trigger is phenomenal. Um, I'll let you look at that. It is measuring out at exactly at three and a half pounds, which is perfect. And that's pulled from the middle part of the trigger. But if you're putting your part finger here, uh, it's good. This is not a binary trigger. This is not a trigger that makes things go faster. This is no better than a mill strike trigger that belongs into, well, actually the reset's better. It's smoother. It's, and what does that equate to? Smoother equates to, and please, this stuff is awesome. The Tetra gun gr grease. Um, what that equates to is a uh, better on target reactions. So with that being said, uh, two things. That grip is so much better. I love it. Secondly, that thing's awesome. So no install, no anything. This was basically me uh, showing everybody how this trigger reacts. So with that, I gotta take this whole thing apart again because I wanna put this guy in from Armacraft, not Armacraft, who's this Armaspec? I'm sorry, Armaspec, but uh, this is a, you know, silent capture spring uh, type thing, but uh, I think better. So with that, I'm gonna be doing that, I guess, when I get home, because I don't have a armor's wrench here with me, damn it. 
It's going to be 32. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. That is a beautiful trigger. I like it. I like it a lot. KB32, I'm out.